Hello and welcome to our Year with the Ears, our daily vlog where we relive our year living in the Walt Disney World Resorts in 2019. Today is day 302. It's moving day again and we are just so sad to be leaving the pirate rooms. Heartbroken, truly. I, I don't know how we're gonna get over it, but we'll find a way. We got everything packed up in the morning and called Bell Services to come transfer our luggage. After that, we called an Uber to come and take us over to Wilderness Lodge. Very excited to be checking in here, but this time we do not have a club level room. We just have a regular room. However, Wilderness Lodge is that one outlier that allows you to add club level access whenever you get there, if it's available. So when we checked in, we did ask, is club level available? They said yes, but there has been a price increase. So instead of $100 a night, it is now $130 a night, which for two people to have unlimited food for the next few days, seems like it's worth it. So we added on club level access and went upstairs to the club level lounge to wait for our room to be ready. This was a lot of fun for us, obviously, because free food, but we have a lot of friends that work up in the club level here at Wilderness Lodge. And of course our name was not on the list of checking in today for club level because we weren't on it originally. So when we walked up there, they're like, you guys are here? Nobody told us you were coming? Wait, you're not on our list. And we're like, no, we added on. They're like, we're so glad to see you. So this was so much fun for us for that too. We got there in time for lunch. So we did get some snacks and we went and sat at our designated table that we love so much worked for just about an hour and then we got the text that our room was ready so we headed down to our room to take some pictures of the room and of course do a video for youtube and facebook now the room itself has the queen bed that most of the other rooms have and the bunk bed is what's really different about this because normally there's a queen bed in this space so you've got two bunks here the top bunk does have the railing and you can't take that down it is locked in place and there ladder is here on the end for that and then above each of the pillows they do have a little light with i'm going to go ahead and say bambi and Feline, even though it's probably not um we're going to go with bambi on the light we're going to say that's what that is and uh then there's this like I don't know what this animal is, like demon goat. And if you'd like to see that entire room tour, it is linked down in the description below and up there in the corner. The bunk bedroom was pretty cool, even though we didn't use the bunks besides putting our bags on there, yep. but it is gone now. They do not have any bunk beds at Wilderness Lodge. When they remodeled, they got rid of all of them, but it was still cool to experience whenever we were there. After we finished with the room tour, we headed back up to the club level lounge and got our table again. Started working for the next few hours until it was time for dinner. And of course they had the normal things like they have, like the smoked pulled pork and they had a few other different items. But everything is the same as it was the last time we were here. So we didn't even bother to take pictures. We just got food and enjoyed it. And after we ate, we had to get going because we had an idea while we were sitting there working and talking. There are a lot of different Halloween activities at Wilderness Lodge. We saw a sign when we walked in, we didn't stop to take a picture yet, but we noticed that they had a lot going on and we thought there's probably a lot going on at other resorts too. So what if we went around and took pictures of all the different activities at the different resorts and posted those all together so everyone knows what happens on Halloween. The only downside is we don't have a car and don't wanna to pay to Uber everywhere. So we devised a plan of what we were gonna do and we started things off by taking the boat over to Magic Kingdom. From Magic Kingdom, we decided to split up. I went over to the buses to get a bus over to Caribbean Beach, and Alyssa kept walking on over to Contemporary. When I got to Contemporary, I saw that they were doing a contest. A lot of the cast members had gotten together and decorated pumpkins, and they were doing a contest where you could vote which pumpkin you love the best. And I'm gonna be honest, I liked all of them. Mm -hmm. I love doing crafts, I like being creative, but they had some really out of the box ideas that I loved so much. I thought these were amazing. So I actually didn't vote because I'm not staying here and because I liked all of them. So there's no way I could have chosen like, oh, this one's my favorite. They all did a great job. I found the sign that had everything they were doing for Halloween. So I took the pictures and then headed up to the monorail. While I was there, I saw they had started the gingerbread castle. It wasn't done yet, but they had started it because they'll begin all the Christmas decorations very soon once the Halloween parties are done. I got on the monorail and headed over to the Polynesian, found the signs, they were in the lobby, so I snapped those pictures, got back on the monorail and went over to the Grand Floridian. I couldn't find the signs anywhere at the Grand Floridian, so when I went and asked, they're like, oh, we don't put those out till the 30th, I was like, I'm gonna have to come back, but okay, thanks for letting me know. So I got on the monorail to head to Magic Kingdom, 
Now this was really fun because they had the Toy Story wrap on one of the monorails at the time that looks amazing. I absolutely love it. I think it's so much fun. But when it's dark and you're inside the monorail, the aliens look like they're trying really hard to get in. And I love the little green aliens so much, but they are terrifying at night when they look like they're trying to just stare at you and try and get inside. When I got to Magic Kingdom, I then went over to the buses and grabbed a bus over to Boardwalk to try and get their signs. And while she was doing all of that, I got started over at Caribbean Beach. They had put their sign out, so I got a picture of all of their activities they were doing. Then I walked over to the Skyliner and took that over to Pop Century and Art of Animation. When I got to Pop Century, they did have their sign out as well and they also had a pumpkin decorating contest mm -hmm. you could vote on. It was a little bit different than the ones that Alyssa saw over at Contemporary, but still really, really cool designs. I was really, really impressed with what the cast members came up with. Some of these are just so creative, mm -hmm. but again, I didn't vote. I just took pictures <laughs> of them and then moved on over to Art of Animation. When I got there, they also had their sign out for all of their activities. So I took a couple pictures of those and they also had a pumpkin mm -hmm. decorating contest. I was really impressed to see that the value resorts got in on the pumpkin decorating just like Contemporary and some of the other deluxe resorts did, which is really impressive because a lot of times they don't do as much at the value resorts, but they just went all out. Mm -hmm. After I finished up there, I did go back to the Skyliner over to Caribbean Beach. And from there, I was gonna take the Skyliner over to Hollywood Studios. On the way to Hollywood Studios, I saw fireworks at Epcot off in the distance over the treetops, which was really cool to see from the Skyliner. And I also had the Skyliner car all to myself. So I was inspired for the first time ever to create a TikTok video because on TikTok, you can use all these different sounds and I just had to use the sound that I thought of when I was in the Skyliner. World Showcase. I'm gonna be stuck all by myself in the Skyliner. He had a lot of fun with that and then of course sent it to me. So I'm cracking up as I'm going from resort to resort. I went to Boardwalk first, went into the lobby and they were doing a pumpkin decorating contest and I was so, so impressed with these. So far all of them have looked amazing but they really did full displays here at Boardwalk. It was awesome. The funny thing about this is the fact that there were three Haunted Mansion displays. Apparently they really, really like Haunted Mansion at this resort. But my absolute favorite one was the one that was the Skyliner. They used big pumpkins, little pumpkins. This was a whole display in and of itself. After checking all of those out and seeing all the little details, I headed up to the front desk because I couldn't find the sign that had the activities for Halloween. So I went and asked and they said it might be in Community Hall. And I was like, okay, that makes sense. So I headed down to Community Hall and they said, we do have the sign, but we're not supposed to put it out until tomorrow. I was like, okay, well, thanks for letting me know. I'll come back tomorrow. So I walked over to Yacht and Beach Club. Same thing, they have the sign, but they are not putting it out until tomorrow. So I did a ton of walking for absolutely nothing. And then I walked over to Hollywood Studios and that's where I met Robert. And as I was coming in on the Skyliner about to land at the station, <laughs> I actually saw Alyssa walking down the sidewalk and I tried to take a picture of her from the Skyliner. A little bit dark so it didn't turn out, but it was definitely her. As soon as I got off the Skyliner, we ran over to the buses and got a bus back over to Wilderness Lodge. When we got to Wilderness Lodge, we snapped a picture of their activities since we didn't earlier and headed upstairs for dessert at the club level lounge. They had some awesome desserts out for Halloween. They had gotten special chocolates from the ganachery. They were all filled with different flavors, but the best one were the skulls. They were mm -hmm. so good. They even inspired me to take a Shakespearean picture with them. <laughs> it was actually really funny, and some of the cast members saw it. They absolutely loved it. We did eat the skulls as well. We didn't just take pictures with them Several and of them. them. We did eat a bunch of the chocolates and of course the other desserts they had. And then we headed downstairs and caught a boat over to Magic Kingdom for another Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween party tonight. When we got there, we walked inside and I don't know if we missed the memo, but people tonight had the absolute best costumes. I mean, all out amazing costumes. The first couple we saw had magic bands that actually lit up and made noise, which is truly impressive. And then as we continued down Main Street, we were gonna watch the Hocus Pocus show and we saw another family that dressed up as the electrical water pageant and even the back of their shirts had the American flags and everything, which was really cool. We watched the Hocus Pocus show until it abruptly ended, literally mid-sentence. They were talking, the sentence didn't even end, they stopped talking and walked off the stage 
and all the guests are just standing there like, is this normal? Well, we have seen this many, many times mm -hmm. now, and we know this is not normal. Yeah. So we're like, what is going on? I know that's not the end of that. And all of a sudden, an announcement came on, due to inclement weather, they had to end the show, and they were gonna come out and do one final song. We're like, okay, so they could have finished that sentence, so that's, that's actually kind of annoying. But okay, they're gonna do a song, that's really nice. So they did, they literally came out and did one song and went backstage, and we're like, where is, I mean, Disney knows, right? They have so many people watching the weather, but where we were, we couldn't see anything. It looked completely fine, which is part of the reason that it was so surprising. So we felt bad for those people who were watching the show for the yeah. only time, We've seen it though, so we just headed back on into the park, decided to go see some characters tonight, and we went back to Storybook Circus to see Minnie and Donald and Daisy, and they weren't in their normal spot. Mm -hmm. They were actually inside the tent in the queue of Dumbo, and they were kind of spread out in there, so it was really nice to get to meet them indoors. There yep. was air conditioning, it felt really nice. We got to see Minnie Mouse, all dressed up in her witch costume. We got to see Donald and Daisy together. Donald had his cool pumpkin costume, <laughs> and of course Daisy was a princess. Lots of good pictures with all of those characters before mm -hmm. we headed out, and we didn't want to leave the party just yet, but it is a very busy party, so we're not going to stay very long. There is one thing we haven't done yet for the parties, and that is the mad teacups for the party they had special music and they had different lighting for the teacups so we went and rode and it was so much fun even though we didn't spin a lot because this doesn't like to spin a lot <laughs> it was still fun and we tried to take a picture while we were spinning and it really didn't work most of the time because we weren't spinning fast enough so I did get to spin the teacup just a little bit <laughs> so we could get the picture we wanted to get and after that short ride was over we started heading out of the park we did go through Tomorrowland to get me some go-go squeeze and then work our way out the front after we stopped and got some allergy friendly candy for Alyssa headed back to the boat over to Wilderness Lodge and that was the end of our day today so we'll see you tomorrow for our year with the ears